Welcome to our open evening here at CBS Charleville. We aim to provide the best education for all students entrusted in our care in the Edmund Rice tradition. Over the course of the evening, you will hear about our excellent facilities, our wide ranging curriculum, and our vibrant extracurricular program, and the pastoral support system that we have in place and will have in place to support your son on their transition to secondary school. My name is Miss Corkery and I am a maths teacher here in Charleville CBS. Uh, maths is a core subject, so it's done throughout first to sixth year. In first year we study a common introductory course, preparing our students for junior cycle. In second and third year then our students study the new junior cycle, so they were doing um, CBAs both in second year and third year. Throughout transition year then we do a range of modules from real life maths, um, where we see maths in the, in the real world everywhere and we prepare our students then for the Leaving Cert Psych, our Leaving Cert course. In fifth and sixth year then our students study the Leaving Cert course, uh, they can study at higher, ordinary and foundation level. We have a big team here and I suppose what we want to achieve is that people, that our students like maths and that they can see the relevance of maths in their everyday life. Hi, my name is Timek and I chose to go to CBS Charleville because there's very nice teachers here and there's a robotics club. Hi, my name is Daniel and I'm from, I came from Paddy Hay Primary School and I chose CBS Secondary because I think they have great facilities here like the woodwork room and art room and everything and I hope to get good results in my junior cert and leaving cert. Hello, my name is Douglas, I'm from Brazil and I like in the CBS, secondary CBS because in a very good school and have a nice, a nice teachers and a nice education. Yeah, I'm Tim Carey, I'm from Germany and I'm in CBS and I like uh, and the woodwork and the technical graphics. Hi, I'm Keith Finuka and I come from Newtown Chandler. I love the sports facilities here and the woodwork room as well. My best memory in Charlotte CBS is probably our TY trip to Manchester when we went to see Manchester United take on Watford at Old Trafford. And the following day then we went to Alton Towers and we spent a day there. And then we got a tour of Old Trafford on the Monday morning before coming home. I just think the whole weekend everybody was in good form and it was really enjoyable for everybody and we got on really well. And if I was to describe the school in two words I'd probably use vibrant and welcoming uh, the most the things i miss most about the cbs uh, is coming in in the morning and having all my friends in the one place and having the crack and arguing about soccer and hurling and limerick versus cork and anything there was to argue about really um, and hopefully next year i hope to study law and accounting in ul hi my name is mr reedy um i teach Agricultural Science, Biology and Science and this is the Horticulture Unit. So here in the Horticulture Unit um, students have an opportunity to participate in practical skills of plant propagation and growing crops. Um, the crops we grow are all from seed um, under organic principles and we take an opportunity to look at soil management and we also have our own compost system here in the school and the crops we grow are grown from seed they're managed by students they're harvested by students and students have an opportunity to eat those crops My name is Woodson. I like the school because there is science and art and there are loads of different subjects. My name is Mr Reardon. I am PE teacher here in CBS Charleville. So this is our physical education facility at Charleville CBS. This fantastic space allows us to provide a broad range of activities. Students experience both individual and team activities in areas such as health related activity, athletics, orienteering and games. Students experience local amenities such as the pool in the Charleville Park Hotel, golfing lessons at Charleville Golf Club and fitness classes at Fit for Life Gym. The highly successful and broad ranging GAA Futures Leaders course is also offered to students as part of the transition year programme. 
Uh, both myself and Mr. Roberts in the PE department deliver a balanced program with something on offer for all students. CBS provides, uh, prides itself in offering a broad range of extracurricular activities, whether it be the sporting field or the academic, there's something for everyone. Some of the activities include GAA, soccer, rugby, debating, Lego club, young scientists, young entrepreneur, chess, athletics and or orienteering. Through our wide varied PE and extracurricular programme, students learn the skills to live an active, healthy lifestyle, develop confidence and most importantly, help them feel happy, healthy and connected within their community. Hi, my name is Owen Mahoney, I'm a torger. I go to CBS, I'm from Newtown. Hi, I'm Joseph Hickey, I'm a torger here in CBS Charleville and I'm from Ballyhead, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're from different clubs, but inside in school we're great friends, you know, it's um, the bonds kind of, they get better when you go outside in school with all your friends, you're in there every day, you know, doing uh, whatever, like, you know, and we're down here in the hall doing PE uh, twice a week, or two classes a week, and uh, the hall here is great, and we do, we do like, we do all different sports every day. Like Owen said there, like, you know, you could be from anywhere really coming to see which Arab and just the bond you have here like in PE and everything and just on the hurling field and everything just it's great crack and everything and just even here now in the summer you get to be out in the field here when it's not wet and it's just it's just the best of fun to be fair. We get to do different sports every day we can know we get to play stuff like badminton, soccer, rugby. rugby, hurling, we get to play volleyball do running, whatever we want, like, you know? Like any sports you can think of really, like you can yeah. do it here in CBS Charlotte. It's, it's great to it's great to try different new things down here in the hall. It's a brilliant facility, like, like the know? facilities here are excellent. Yeah. Like you've got the big hall, there's everywhere you look yeah. there's green facilities like pitches you know, and everything. It's unreal. You're training everything out here on the pitch, you know, it's it's really it's unreal facilities. Hi, my name is William O'Neill and I came from Charleville CBS Primary School. Um, I really like this school because there's half days on Fridays. We do lots of cool classes like digital literacy and art. I really love this school. I'd really recommend it. Bye. One of the main reasons I came to CBS was because of the hoarding. Um, but I quickly found that there's lots of other things to get involved in at CBS as well. Uh, in TY I took part in the debating team and uh, that's one of my fondest memories here. Uh, there's also soccer, chess uh, and a range of other activities like athletics to get involved in. So I would encourage anyone that's coming into CBS to try your hand at everything because it's a great way of making friends and getting to know other people. Okay, welcome to room 15. This is the technical drawing room where we teach both junior cycle graphics and senior cycle design and communications graphics. This is a fifth year class at the moment. They're just beginning their leaving certificate course. But most of the day in here, what we have is first year, second years and third year studying graphics. Um, it's a very um, useful subject, I suppose you could say. It's very mathematical, very engineering based. So for anybody who's interested in a career in architecture or engineering, or design of any sort, this is the course you'd certainly be aiming at. Um, we usually have a big uptake at Junior Cycle, perhaps 20 classes of 20 to 25 students, and it's a very popular course. Um, this, the, the, it leads on, as I say, to careers in, in a variety of areas, design and manufacturing, and also ties in very closely with the woodwork construction studies courses that we offer. Um, Senior Cycle. We have also 12 CAD workstations, you see them there around the sides of the room. So a lot of the work at Senior Cycle is done on computer to prepare again for the workplace. So um, if you're coming to CBS Charlotte, you'll certainly have the chance for graphics and for designing communications graphics all the way through your schooling here. Hi, I'm Sean Fitzgerald and I'm a fifth year doing DCG. I have just completed my junior certificate and I would recommend this subject in first year going through TG all the way to DCG because it's very good in terms of maths and engineering. It goes into stuff like architecture and designing. It's great. It's not only 
educational, but it's also quite fun and I enjoy DCG a good bit. I'm uh, Mr McGill and uh, I teach woodwork and construction within the school here, which was uh, opened uh, three years ago uh, with a full list of equipment from 13 wood turning lathes to uh, laser cutter and 3D printers. So up until about third year, this is the type of, type of project that we, we look at. So it involves different types of timbers, uh, wood turning and carving, and then also then different types of design with regard to cutting out with the laser cutters. So going on to leave insert, then we, we generally turn to a, a construction type project. Hello, my name is Daniel. This school is very fun. You should come. Also my favorite subject is science. My name is Mr. Reedy, and I am a science teacher here in CBS Charleville. Um, here in Charleville, we have many science subjects available to students. We have junior cycle science from first to third year. We have biology, agricultural science, chemistry, and physics as the research subjects. We have two science labs available um, in the school for mandatory experiments as well for all subjects. Hi, I'm Miss Daly. I'm physics and chemistry and science teacher here in CBS Charleville. We've got loads of exciting things going on here in CBS Charleville in terms of our new junior research science syllabus. So between CBA 1 and CBA 2, we've got our second years and third years doing their own individual experiments. from six years in charge of CBS I'd say definitely the show we did in TY the few weeks we spent preparing for that uh, was some of the most fun we had uh, throughout all our time and I'd say the first day we came back after the most recent lockdown you know, I kind of thought to myself that we wouldn't be back at all so uh, two words I'd use to describe CBS would be supportive uh, I always felt like especially during the lockdowns and the online learning you know if you ever had a problem shoot an old email and uh, you'd be sorted out and any any work you did any test there was always great feedback to learn from um i'd also say developmental would be another word i'd use you know um it's a great place of course to make mistakes but uh more importantly to learn from them and mature and grow i suppose um the thing i missed the most would be the lads uh of course uh like there aren't many jobs that you can go down I don't want to pee and play soccer there or just have a crack out in the yard or just have a break but you know 30 or 40 lads your own age you know uh, it just doesn't really happen so yeah I definitely miss that and um, next year I'm planning to do law in New Hi uh, I'm Michal and I'm a Leaving Cert student and I do music after school here and it really helps me with uh, preparing for the Leaving Cert exam and it helps to get it, uh, extra attention from the teachers because there's small class to improve a lot. Here in CBS we have a robust student support system in place which helps with the transition of students from primary to secondary school. For your son this would include having a class tutor, a year head, a guidance counsellor, a parents association and a special educational needs department. Uh, so hi, my name is uh, Maria Kelly and I am the SCN coordinator here in the school and a part of my role is to coordinate a team of teachers and special needs assistants to help and support students. When you're coming into first year, um, I would meet you when you're in sixth class in February and we'd bring you in for a very short test to assess to see if you have any needs before you come into the school. When you're in the school throughout the year, your teachers would communicate um, if you have any, uh, if you find anything difficult, and we would always communicate with the parents. That's what that support looks like. Um, it could be a, a student that requires literacy support, numeracy, communication skills, life skills, our general maths or subject support. We have added a new ASD room and a class. Uh, this class can facilitate up to six students 
and it's a first uh, for CBS Charleville and we're very delighted to welcoming uh, students that have a diagnosis with ASD. Uh, these students may experience um, difficulty in settling into the mainstream class and we at this classroom, this extra support that we have will allow us to support them to reach their potential academically but also holistically their communication needs and their social needs, their general development. We have a purpose-built um, kitchen where students will learn cooking skills with one of our SEN teachers. We also have a calming corner where they can relax in the bean bags. We have an interactive whiteboard uh, that they love. Uh, Welcome to CBS Charitable. My name is Christine Fitzgerald and I'm the School Guidance Counselor. Guidance Counselor works in three separate but interlinked areas. Personal and social guidance, vocation guidance and education guidance. So what that means is that from when you start with us in September, I will work with you and your parents through all the different stages as you journey through your life here in CBS. So starting with your transition to second level, with your subject choices for junior cycle and with important CEO choices, and career choices as you come to the end of sixth year. So we look forward to meeting you in September when you start in CBS. My name is um, Tom. Uh, I came from Grena NS Primary School and I was the only person coming. And uh, my favourite subject is history. Hello, my name is Miss Hanley and I teach English here at CBS Charleville. Here in CBS, we strive to help students achieve their potential in English as it is an essential element to any student's life, both inside and outside of school. At Junior Cycle, students are actively involved in the integrated skills of oral language, reading and writing and in discussing and comparing a wide variety of texts. At Senior Cycle, students then build on these skills from their time in Junior Cycle and study texts which further push their abilities to analyse, evaluate and compare texts. Studying English literature opens up a world of inspiration and creativity while also developing skills that are essential for today's global environment. In our English department here in CBS Charleville, we strive to choose texts that will best suit our students and allow them to develop their own curiosity. My favourite moment from Charleville CBS is when we went to Manchester in transition year. We went, uh, we went over by ferry and we went to um, watch a Manchester United game and then we went off to the Trapper Centre and we went shopping there for a while. Um, it was a very enjoyable experience staying in the hotel room having the crack with the lads. It was something you don't get to experience very often and it is one of my very fond memories here in Charleville CBS. It's Misha and Ian Nihulavon, August this month or Gael Gamay and Shaw in Manskull and Rohara Christy Rollerk. My name is Miss O'Sullivan and I'm an Irish teacher here in Charleville CBS. In our school we promote a love of Irish from first year right up to leaving cert. Each year we mark Shacht and the Gaelga by celebrating the Irish language with events such as yoga as Gaelga, singing and songwriting, poster competitions and table quizzes. Many of our past pupils have gone on to study Irish at third level and even those who were not able to continue their study of Irish have often joined the Irish societies in their various colleges. We look forward to meeting you all here next year to promote a culture of Irish and support the Irish language in our school. My name is Fergal O'Connor and I'm a past pupil here at CBS Charleville. Um, I sat to leave this year in 2020 and I achieved enough points to do a physiotherapy in UL, uh, which was a course I always wanted to do. Um, one of the best things that I found about CBS is that there wasn't really a boundary between teachers and students. You kind of always felt that there was a teacher there for you when you were having any problems. And I know CBS is known for the hurling, but there's there's lots of other extracurricular activities in CBS. Uh, I did music in CBS, and I also did the debating in TY, which was one of my fondest memories of the school. Um, CBS is one of the gr greatest atmospheres that I've experienced in the school in my life anyway. Um, there is never a dull moment here and you always feel like there's someone by your side to support you through your way. Hi, my name is Mr Corcoran and I teach history here in CBS Charleville for junior cycle and for leaving certificate. And we regard history as a very important subject here. We pride ourselves in excellent results and uh, if you would like to know more about the syllabus, uh, please click on the links on our website. Uh, for junior cycle, we have two CBAs, CBA 1 and CBA 2. 
And for Leaving Cert, we do a uh, research project. This research project is worth 20% of your overall grade and students get to pick their own topic and investigate by themselves. Uh, we hope to see uh, many first years in CBS Charitable next year and hopefully some budding historians among you. Uh, hi, my name is MJ Purtle and uh, I set the Leaving Cert here in Charitable last year. I uh, got enough points anyways, thankfully, to do uh, my course that I wanted, which was uh, accounting in UCC. Um, from my time in CBS Charleville, I'd say that you shouldn't have any problems with fitting in or being included because it's a very inclusive atmosphere. Uh, and it can be daunting doing things such as like, you know, changing from your local school into a bigger school or maybe having to get the bus to travel in and little changes like that, which make a big difference to the way you do your daily life. But I think at CBS Charleville, you have no problem kind of being included and I would say to try join Joe be the soccer team or the hurling team, which is well known, or even from time to time you'd have Mr. Hogan runs chess club or anything like that if you're not so sporty inclined. Um, I'd say that one of my fondest memories would be just all the trips you do throughout the year as you go on the bus and as a kind of a joint memory, the buses are always good fun and you know you sit beside someone new every time and you get to know everyone and. I would just recommend that you kind of throw yourself into life at CBS Charleville and it'll, it'll suit you well. Bonjour, je m'appelle Mademoiselle Omani et je sonne le français ici à CBS Charleville. Uh, French is an excellent subject to study in terms of a modern foreign language because it's widely spoken across the world in over 30 different countries. Um, and in those countries it's used as the first language and then in nearly 90 other countries it's actually taught in schools as well. So it's really widely spoken. In CBS Charleville, all students study French from first year to third year, where they get an excellent base in the language so that they can gain the basics, so that they can converse with a French person about everyday topics like sport, travel, themselves, and that they can travel around French speaking countries easily as well. In junior cycle, most students now undertake two classroom based assessments one during second year and one during third year. In second year, they do a short oral presentation on any topic that they like. So, so far in the last couple of years, students have spoken about sport, their family, pastimes. Last year during lockdown, one student even produced his own cooking show in his own home. In third year, they choose three pieces of their best work from their portfolio that they build up throughout their time learning French, and then they submit those. I like uh, doing French because um, I like learning the language and uh, when I go on holidays to France I, it's, it's very handy to have up there for speaking to the locals. Uh, I got into cooking over the lockdown and I just thought it would be something to be really interesting to do with my French. So I did pancake something French to go at um, the French CBA. Hi, my name is Sinead Castello and I teach junior cycle geography and living search geography here at CBS Charleville. In the geography department at CBS Charleville, we take great pride in our subject and the work we do with our students. Our department is at the forefront of key educational areas such as teaching and learning, the use of ICT in the classroom, state exam results, field trips and assessment for learning. I suppose geography is a very broad, interesting and a very relevant subject concerned primarily with the study of people and their environment. When you come into first year, you're going to um, look and uh, focus on some topics and these might include climate change, global warming, environmental studies, weather patterns, physical environments such as rivers, coasts, rocks, everything that's around us um, you will experience and learn about in junior cycle geography, all of which is very relevant in today's world. I suppose where possible we make every effort to draw on our own student prior experience and past experience to travel. You know, we're going to learn about uh, different cultures and the places where they live and rivers that they might be close to. So we draw on uh, our students' prior experience. Um, at field, uh, both junior and senior level, field work is included in order for the student to move outside the confines of the classroom and to learn to observe firsthand some aspects of the local area. Skills that they will have develop and enhance as a result of the field work is research, uh, the skill to observe, collecting and recording information. To finish, the Geography Department at CBS Charlotte will continue to produce outstanding results at both junior and senior level. My best memories of CBS Charlotte are playing hurling and soccer for the school. Two words I would use to describe CBS Charlotte are memorable and enjoyable. I'll miss meeting all my friends and all the teachers that I've had for the last six years when I leave school. Next year, I hope to study accounting in UCC. 
Hi guys, um, Darius is given here. I'm a graduate of Charleville CBS from 2016. Um, I'm also a member of the Cork Senior Hurling team. I'm delighted to be coming back and working uh, with Charleville CBS. Um, last summer, me and Tim O'Mahony and other Cork Senior Hurlers, we held a hurling and camogie camp in Charleville GA grounds. Um, it was called the Charleville CBS Hurling Camp. As part of that camp, um, we were hoping to reach out to as many schools as possible and help develop the skills both on and off the field of pupils in our local area. Um, as part of that camp, two, um, um, uh, two uh, pupils coming into the first year uh, this year got an opportunity to earn a scholarship. As part of that scholarship, um, my role and Tim's role ha has been to help with one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions over a number of weeks. Um, we are delighted to be able to help as much as possible in Charleville CVS um, and we hope to continue with the Hurling and Kamoi camp over the next couple of years and to help provide scholarships to the students coming into the schools. So hopefully if you're joining Charleville CVS school, we look forward to working with you and best luck in the future. Hi, my name is Niall and I'm in Fortier. Hi, my name is Killian and I'm also in Fortier. I like geography because we get to learn about all the different things that are happening in the world like the volcano and the canaries migration in Afghanistan, tracking the spread of COVID and the impact of climate change. My favourite part about geography is learning about earthquakes because we get to do lots, we get to watch lots of videos and do lots of case studies. In Leaving Cert, we go on a field trip to the beach to do a project that is worth 20% of our Leaving Cert. We are doing a practice of this field trip this year in TOI. Uh, my name is Donald Reardon and I graduated CPS Secondary School in 2016 and since then I'm after graduating in MTU from Biomedical Engineering. Um, when I was in CBS I was really interested in science subjects so I did uh, biology and chemistry for my leaving cert and although I didn't know what I wanted to do in college I knew it was, I wanted to do something around science so when I was going through the CEO handbook I looked for all the science subjects that I thought would be interesting and I found Biomedical Engineering and at the start I was a bit worried about maths and physics I didn't, I didn't wasn't I didn't do physics for leaving cert, but when I went there, they started everything off from scratch. Um, I got an understanding of maths, physics, all the core subjects you need, and I found the engineering aspect to be very interesting. Thank you for joining us for our open evening. We are looking forward to our state-of-the-art extension, including two SEN rooms, a design and communication graphics room, a music room, a multimedia room, and a further construction room in CBS. Working together, we are committed to providing the best possible education to all boys entrusted in our care and continuing to develop an excellent school. Slán Gafó.